Uh, I just wanted to showcase this new light skin material. Some people had some questions about it and its properties. So I thought I'd give you a little information. Um, this is LS07. This is Dimension Polyant's lightest outdoor line coated with the light skin. Um, it's supposedly highly abrasion resistant. Um, the polyester light skin coating on the face of the fabric is supposedly what increases the abrasion resistance. Um, so this stuff is basically just a 7 denier ripstop nylon backing laminated together with the Dimension Polyant's name brand polyester light skin black and gray coating. It's pretty similar to X-Pack but there's no PET film. There's no plastic laminated in together with this. So it's just uh, nylon and the, and the heather coating. If you compare that to say this uh, VX07 which is like a pretty standard X-Pack, it's got a 70 denier face fabric, the same as the backing on the light skin, but it's also got a PET layer in the laminate, which is basically like a plastic sheet, a really thin plastic sheet laminated together with it. It's got a light scrim backing, this nylon, and then it also has the cool looking X-Grid at 20 degrees. If you compare that to, say, a Dyneema, this stuff has reinforcement with the uh, ultra high weight molecular polyethylene. Uh, basically Cuban fiber, DFC, or Spectra, it's all basically the same really lightweight plastic fibers. Reinforce this grid, but it's not laminated, it's coated with this PU coating, and that's where it gets it water, its waterproofness. But the face of it's not coated, so it can still absorb a lot of moisture in the weave of the face. And eventually, uh, after enough use, especially in like a side pocket, this is going to wear off and then water is just going to go right through it. It's not indefinitely waterproof like these. This laminate, uh, I mentioned this doesn't have a PET film, but it's still waterproof to 160 pounds, and I would call that basically an uh, impermeable membrane. Like This stuff is not going to absorb any water. Water's not getting through it. Um, it's just got a lower tear strength, so it didn't get quite as high as this, which is like a 200 plus uh, PSI rating for waterproofness, and that's just due to the nature of the laminate. This does not hold nearly as much water. Um, this hardly holds any at all, actually, and that's something to consider because when you're hiking in the rain, your pack gets heavy and, and saggy, and if you have a pack made entirely of this, like the, I know MLD, they make packs out of Dyneema like this. Z-Packs has, a, like the Arcol, they, they make out of these, but those absorb a lot of water. They might be waterproof, not forever, so something to consider if you're looking at a pack made out of this Dyneema. Um, somebody had asked about repairing with Cuban fiber tape, so I'll use this uh, seam ripper to make a little uh, tear. Pretty small little hole there. Um, I can't, I can rip it maybe if I pull a little stronger. The stuff's actually pretty strong despite the rating. Um, but yeah, okay, there's a little hole there, um, let's repair it. Here we go, piece of 0.51 Cuban fiber tape. I'm going to put one piece on this side, um, and it adheres pretty well. Uh, I tried this on a piece before, and you can just leave it at that, or I'm going to go ahead and put another piece on the back. Now this isn't going to be a perfect repair. Um, the edges of this can roll up if you rub against it so you can see, but it's a pretty decent repair job. Um, I'd call that fixed and it restores a lot of the strength of the fabric. And then, to show you a little bit of the, the tear strength of this fabric, I'll make a little notch here, and then I'll, just, I'll show you just... So. And it's rippable by hand. So, not the strongest stuff if you want to compare that to uh, the X-Pack smaller piece of X-Pack, cut it on the weft, this is this big notch there, and this stuff it's definitely a lot stronger. I don't think I can rip it any further by hand. Yeah, so that's about as far as I'm going to get. So this is not so scientific of a test, but I have a standard Swiss Army knife here, and uh, it's relatively sharp, um, you know, it cuts through. So I'm just going to go ahead and do two minutes each of scraping, moderate pressure on 
a piece of VX07 and then the uh, LS07. All right, so that was 30 seconds. Um, I stopped at 30 just because we're already back to the uh, the nylon underneath. So now I'll go ahead and do it. Um, I'll do a 30 second scrape on the X pack and then see where we get. All right, so like I said, this is not so scientific, but um, the nylon actually peel like peeled up onto the knife's edge so I had to I had to you saw me stop and pull the um, this peeled up nylon off and we're already all the way through the PET to the scrim on the other side. There's a good amount of the the face denier fabric. It's all the way through the X grid and down to the scrim. Like I could keep going and this would go all the way through. The abrasion resistance on this is pretty decent. I um, for the thickness of this fabric uh, it really peeled up a lot. The nylon is completely shredded here. The nylon on this side is completely intact. And uh, I would say that this is a pretty effective um, means of resisting abrasion with this light skin coating versus the, like I could probably poke or tear through this pretty easily. Yeah, so, and then we'll see how, how this does by hand. I don't think I can even get through with just my fingers. So this light skin looks like it'll be good in applications where you need abrasion resistance. Also there's the LS42 fabric, which is 420 denier uh, backing, non-rip stop, and it's made of nylon. So the same denier as this nylon, but no grid. Um, and this has a higher tear strength. You could compare this to like a 420 Kadura, I guess. Um, with the light skin coating for abrasion resistance. So this could be a really good option. It's 6.2 ounces per square yard. So it's a little heavier, but um, still a good option for backpacks. Yeah, so hopefully this gives you a good idea now of a little bit of what's available from Dimension Polyant. You can buy this stuff on Rocky Woods. Um, maybe not this light skin, but I know they carry X-Pack. And uh, they had some X-Pack available from Quest Outfitters. You could buy a couple yards there. So I've used this light skin in um, a couple backpacks now. And uh, I'm starting a company called Superstition Gear. Uh, I'll make an announcement post once my packs are ready for sale. It should be in about a week. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please let me know. I, I'll be glad to make more videos showcasing fabrics like this if you guys want to see it. So uh, thanks for viewing.